I think you're going to see government regulation being pushed, in fact, by Tim Cook. He was saying, I'm open to it. Uh, but I wouldn't trust this Congress, which doesn't know much about technology as we've seen, to make good decisions about this, to craft laws or regulations that will help either the big businesses or the small ones. And Tim is Cook there is... there any Congress you've seen that you would trust <laughs> no, to do that? Probably not, but <laughs> certainly not this one. And what, what Tim Cook is saying is that we are, you know, privacy is a fundamental human right. And if you keep pushing that, then that's certainly where the other companies cannot go. But it's so interesting because Apple just doesn't have the experience with advertising that these other companies do. And advertising is all about data now. It's impossible to talk about advertising without data. But Apple could increasingly be moving in that, that direction as they do more with Apple News. There have been reports for years about them doing more in the sort of creating a bundle of TV content. If they move more in that direction, could they put themselves more at risk in this area? They would if they move in that direction, but if you watch Tim Cook and you believe him, I thought he was very direct about not doing the things that, you know, maybe using Google's old slogan, like, you know, don't be evil uh, for himself and for Apple. Eric, if you're, if you're Facebook, uh, what's your answer to this, other than to say we're working on it? If I'm Facebook, I, I would be way more proactive than they are uh, than they have been. Absolutely, really yes, because this is really this is really a major issue. You've seen it in Europe with the, the new regulations of GDPR, which is just the beginning. Uh, I, I think if I were Facebook, I would make it very very clear uh, up front on the, on your homepage as to which data is being captured. Which data I can I can opt out? They would yeah. argue they've centralized all those things, all those levers, all those tools. Not enough. I, have you tried to find <laughs> yes, it? I, yes, I have. <laughs> it's, you have to go through pages and pages. You can't find it. There, there should be a, a, a big button saying, "Go here, find out what we're capturing. Tell me which data you don't want me to capture. Make the data your own and allow people." I, I would think at the end of the day, most people would opt in because of the convenience mm. of being targeted in the right way. Do you way. think people really will? opt-in or do you think this results in a Facebook that is less profitable because it just doesn't have the same degree of targeting? It's very possible that Facebook will be less profitable. I think that uh, that using your data in ways that you don't realize to then make money off that is not going to be a sustainable business model in the future. I think, I think to, to, to what degree do you think that Apple and Tim Cook are in this privileged position because by the way they define their market they're already targeted. I mean, you, you've got a certain amount of money, you've got a certain mindset to a degree if you are an Apple customer. I mean, what, one of the things that you can pick in Facebook or probably in Google if you're targeting an audience is iPhone users. And, and that does a particular thing. So in a way, uh, has Apple already targeted before it even you know, hits the starting block? Yeah, you know who your customers are and they're very different from the typical uh, audience that, that's out there. But I think that what we're, this discussion we're having is very interesting, but for Facebook to go down this path means it's not the Facebook we know today. And I think that people will lose interest and move on and Facebook will survive this particular moment, though you never know what's coming next.